Hey everyone, Josh Hofter, field agronomist for Pioneer in southeast Minnesota. Well, getting to be a lot of bare fields across the countryside as we finally got some good weather here this fall and a lot of corn and soybeans are coming out across the area. And one of the big questions I've been getting lately is management of phosphorus and potassium fertilizer uh, this fall looking ahead to the 2019 crop. Uh, certainly many ways we can look at that and certainly the main two are number one, kind of reviewing those soil tests you've taken uh, recently, either new ones this fall or looking at some ones from two or three years ago, depending on your sample cycle. That's gonna really make decisions on, okay, do we need to apply some extra fertilizer based on crop removal? Or in maybe in some cases, do we have a little bit of extra there that maybe we can maybe make a few changes and not have to apply as much for the 2019 crop? Really, I wanna spend some time on today is looking at crop removal. Uh, one thing I just always like to look at, hey, how was this crop? How much are we taking out? Because obviously, we at least wanna be putting back what we took uh, to make sure we set up the 2019 crop for the same success as this year. Uh, when we look at these numbers, in this case, I'm using the Iowa State uh, removal numbers. Uh, I'm looking at corn, and this is going to equate back to bushels per acre at 15%. On the soybeans, it's looking at bushels per acre at 13%. If we look at phosphorus, in this case, it's P205 removal. Uh, for every bushel of corn we harvest, we remove 0.32 pounds of P205 on corn. When we look at K2O uh, potassium here, we remove 0.22 pounds per bushel of grain that we harvest. Soybeans, looking at P205, uh, we, we remove 0.72 pounds per acre uh, per bushel of soybeans, and a K2O or potassium, 1.2 pounds per bushel um, based on those removal numbers from Iowa State. So we take that one step further, just kind of looking at an example. In this case, I'm just gonna use 200 bushel per acre corn. If we go down here to the bottom, we look at that 200 bushel per acre corn, 200 bushel for P205 times 0.32, that equates to 64 pounds of P205. If you like to equate that, hey, I use DAP, uh, how many pounds of DAP is that? That's 139 pounds of 184060 or DAP. Looking at potassium K2O removal at 200 bushel corn times the 0.22, that's 44 pounds per acre of K2O. That equates to 73 pounds of 0060 or potash. Certainly like to look at these numbers. Every time you're kind of looking at your fall fertilizer plan, take a look at, hey, how are my corn yields? How are my bean yields? Do some of those simple calculations and that'll at least get you to a point where hey am i putting back as much as i took more or less it'll help make 2019 a success with this update i'm josh schaffner that concludes this pioneer growing point agronomy video podcast visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on twitter and facebook for more agronomy insights